Hello, this is Professor Matt Catrullis at Rio Hondo College. This series of video lectures covers Experiment 12 on acids, bases, pH, and buffers. We cover several related topics in this experiment, including the pH scale, the mathematical relationships between pH, hydronium concentration, proton concentration, and hydroxide concentration, measuring pH using both indicators and a pH meter, and buffers. The terms acid and base have many different definitions, depending on the particular context we are interested in. For now, let's stick with the simplest definition and say that acids are compounds which produce protons in solution, and bases are compounds which produce hydroxide ions in solution. This is called the Arrhenius definition of acids and bases. When we say that a solution A is more acidic than a solution B, we mean that the molarity of the protons in A is greater than in B. Similarly, when we say that a solution X is more basic than a solution Y, we mean that the molarity of the hydroxide ions in X is greater than in Y. The solution is neutral if the molarity of protons is the same as the molarity of hydroxide. When we first start learning about acids, we run into a small point of confusion. In the previous slide, I said that the ion associated with acids is the proton, written H+. In reality, these ions do not exist by themselves in an aqueous solution. Instead, they hop onto a water molecule piggyback style to make a new ion, written H3O+, and it's called the hydronium ion. Chemists look at these formulas and see them as meaning the same thing. I usually prefer to write H+, but I will follow your textbook's convention and write H3O+, to keep things simple. The pH scale allows us to determine how acidic or basic a solution is and express the answer in a simple way. The scale runs from 0 to 14, although values outside of this range are possible. A pH value of 7 is considered neutral. A pH less than 7 is considered acidic. A pH greater than 7 is basic. Let's explore the concepts of pH a bit deeper. The natural question we might have at this point is, what does pH mean? The P in pH means take the logarithm and multiply it by negative 1. If you have studied logarithms before, you know that there are two common types, log base 10 and the natural logarithm. We will always mean base 10 in this context. Although it's not necessary to have a deep understanding of logarithms for this class, you might want to check out any online videos you find to learn more about them. Let's look at how the molarity of hydronium ions correlates with pH. We see that the pH increases by 1 each time the molarity of hydronium goes down by a factor of 10. This should make sense because the most acidic solutions have the lowest pH values. Since the concentration of hydronium is going down, the pH should do the opposite, which we see it does. Let's practice calculating the pH from the hydronium ion concentration. This is a simple matter of typing numbers into your calculator. We will do this for an example where the molarity of the hydronium ion is 0 0.15. For most modern calculators, you simply hit the negative key, then the log key, then enter the concentration, in our case 0 0.15. You will probably need to add a closing parenthesis at this point, depending on the calculator. Then you press either the equals or enter button, depending on the calculator. Let me show you how it is done on a TI-84 calculator. We begin by pushing the negative button, 
Now it's very important you push negative and not the subtraction key, which might give you the incorrect result. We then find the log key. And you'll notice on the TI it already gives you the first parenthesis. We type in the numbers, 0.15. And then on most calculators, you need to add that last parenthesis and then click Enter to get your correct answer. At this point, I would like you to pause the video and calculate the pH for the three solutions below with the given hydronium ion molarities. When you are done, unpause the video to see the answers. I'm going to use my calculator here to show the answers to these problems. So I begin by clicking on the negative sign and then the log button. Enter the number 0 0.0025. Click the final parenthesis and then enter. And I get an answer of 2.60. Again, I type in negative and log. And this next number I'm going to need to express in scientific notation. So I type 9.8. I look for the EE. So I hit second EE. That gives me an E, which means times 10 to the power. I type in negative 4. End parenthesis. And enter to give me an answer of 3.01. Again, negative log, 1.0. Second, EE, to do scientific notation, negative 7, end parenthesis. And this gives me 7. You'll notice the first two pH values are acidic, but a pH of 7 is neutral. That's an important value to keep in mind for later.